Hey guys, and welcome back to Tom Oldie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to dismantle some core stuff engine RAM and paint it. So a couple of things you'll need. Obviously you'll need your RAM, spray paint, and a heat gun. But if you don't have a heat gun, a hairdryer will just do uh, fine. Hairdryer will do just fine because you need some heat to paint. So anyway, uh, yeah, you may say, oh, you're painting it red. Don't Corsair already offer red Corsair vengeance? Yes they do, but it's a shite colour. This red's better, and it'll fit my build much better. So, um, yeah, let's get into the dismantlement of the RAM. Okay, I bought this RAM on eBay for £45, 16 gigabytes of DDR, for uh, 3000 megahertz. So I'm just testing it on my PC before I even start getting around to painting it. Just to make sure it works, and yeah, there it's showing up, so I've got 32 gigabytes in total now. But I just wanted to test it before I even started messing around with painting and stuff, but if you buy RAM second hand on eBay, or not second hand, cheap RAM, because it, it came brand new, £45 for 3000 megahertz, 16 gig, got a killer deal on that. Okay, so here we have our single RAM, I'm just going to do one of them, and then the other one I'll do off camera, because there's no point showing you both, but pretty much what you want to do is you just spray it all over with your hair dryer. Um, I'd also recommend using picks and stuff for once you finish uh, heating it up because we're going to have to heat it up to get rid of the stickiness of the uh, silicone pads or heat pads, whatever you call them. But first, let's just heat dry the fuck out of it. Okay, be careful because apparently light RAM's quite uh, light and it really burns your fingers as well, so be careful. Okay, so I believe I have heated it up enough so I should just be able to start pulling it apart. Uh, just be very careful doing this because obviously, yeah, you don't want to damage it because it is a PCB and that is very hot. Uh, just do my camera a bit. Oop. There we go. Should be a bit of a better angle. Just got to try and pull it apart. So, yeah, as I just said right there, be careful. So should just start coming apart. Yeah, it's starting to come off. Pull it. Like these things aren't needed. I just, and I guess I'd advise using them because you don't want to damage it, as I said. Okay, so it's coming apart slowly. Oh, sorry about the camera focus. Uh, you got one of the reasons you got to be careful is because it can dent the RAM, not the RAM, the. Uh, would call it but the heat sink which you don't really You can hear it uh, tearing apart actually. Don't drop it like I just did, because that's probably really not advised. That's one almost off completely. Let's do the other side in a minute. Come on, you know you want to come off. Oh, there we go. That's one side off. Let's have the other side. It's a lot easier to do this because there's no heat uh, module, uh, no RAM modules. I've got to say about that. This side you've got to be careful on it. I'm just got to peel it apart. Really. There we go. Well, I'm pretty sure I just broke it. 
Look, it's gone. Fuck. <laughs> so yeah, example 101, why you don't want to get it too hot, because you can undo the soldering points. Uh, I'm going to carry on painting it anyway, because at least I'll have one stick of RAM that works. <laughs> Shite. Hey, it's Tom from not the beginning of the video. This is halfway through the video. I destroyed one of the RAM sticks. So first I'm going to show you the one I destroyed, and then I'm going to show you the one I didn't destroy. So... This video is going to have two parts. Part one, how to not do it, and part two, how to do it. So, um, be careful doing this, guys. Just want to add in, this is done at your own risk. You can destroy the RAM pretty much. And if you do that, you're not getting any help from Corsair or anyone, or you can't get returned. So, um, yeah, be very careful. Okay, I've got a stick and stick of RAM. This time I've got to make sure I don't fucking break it, because that'd be bad. So yeah, taking that side off worked perfectly. This one didn't break like the last one did. Rest in peace, Ram. But anyway, let's get to painting. Okay, so before painting, I do want to make sure I don't cover this up with paint. So what I'm gonna, uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some masking tape, make a little thing for it, and then just cut it out. You probably would have guessed that though. So there we go, I just cut around it and it is all coming off nicely. So I just need to make sure I get rid of the rest of it. Um but yeah, okay. So I should nice leave a nice little cut out that says Corsair Vengeance. Yes, yeah, so that's one. Just time to do it to the second one. And then the second set of rack. So uh, I'll just do it to here and then I'll do it everywhere else. Okay, so it's time to paint. I'd normally recommend doing this outside, but it's cold today, so I'm doing it inside. So make sure you, yeah, just make sure it doesn't go everywhere, about 30 centimeters away from the ram, and just start doing a light coat slowly. Yes, mate, do that until it's completely covered. So now we just need to wait for this to dry. Luckily I'm going out, so I'll be back in a couple of hours. Okay, so the ram sticks are dry. I have taken off the label, so that's the colour it is. I prefer this colour much more to the standard red. Um, it's painted quite nicely. Looks quite good. Um, I've already put back together the stick of ram that I mentioned earlier that broke. So that's what it looks like back together. This one's broken, so I'm going to go throw it at someone. Uh, yeah, let's just put back the working stick back together. So firstly, I need... Uh, what way does it go? Okay, so that's the front. I need to make sure I put this back together correctly, because if I fuck this up, it will not be fun. I think that goes there, and then that goes there-ish. Just got to clip it back together. I think that's back together. So there you go. That's how you paint the RAM. Yeah. Let's just put it back into piece and make sure it works. Okay, everything's decided to break today because my camera stand just broke. It's really annoying. Look, that's fun. Camera stand broken. Yay. Let's get rid of that. One, two. Okay, Ram in. Let's see if it works. It seems to be working fine at the moment. Let's see if it boots. Also, Queen. It should appear fine in it. 
I actually love how Corsair RAM looks. It looks so nice. This is the uh, normal set I use. I normally, so that's why I went for red, because I want a red and white combo to match my GPU. It's in there. It looks like there's a really big gap now, because I painted it red. But there already is a gap. Oh, and it booted. Let's see. It should be 8 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, task manager. Performance. 8 gigabytes. There we go. Yeah. So it worked. Time to put the rest of my RAM back in. Okay, so there we go. Six to, uh, we've got RAM in there now. In total, it is 24 gigabytes. Shame this stick died, but it happens. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if we don't think 100% as planned, but these things happen. Stuff breaks. I've still got more RAM than I had on my computer, and I think it looks better for my color scheme as well. Just shame about that stick of RAM dying. But as I said, this is done on your own back. If you fuck it up, you fuck it up, and there's nothing you can do about it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned how to do it, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Still, we are here to commemorate the loss of RAM. He was not in our family for long, but we will surely miss him. RAM in the bin. Also, tripod, because that broke as well.